let us see some more problems. Let A equals to ABCD, B equals to EFGH, and if F is a function from A to B, defined by F of A equals to E, F of B equals to E, F of C equals to H, and F of B equals to G. <coughs> then, as a relation from A to B, F is equal to AE, BE, CH, DG. And here, the domain of F is equal to A, and the range of F is equal to F of A, which is equal to E, H, G. And a relation from B to A given by F inverse is obtained by interchanging the ordered pair, that is A, E, B, H, C, G. Now, the domain of F inverse is E, H, G, which is equal to range of F. And the range of F inverse is equal to A, B, C, D, which is equal to A, which is equal to domain of F. Also, F inverse of inverse is equal to F. So that's why if you in, if you again complement, if you again take the inverse of this, uh, you will be getting the original F. So although F inverse is a relation from B to A, it is not function from B to A because E is related to two elements A and B under F inverse. So you can observe E has two images, which is not possible in case of a function. Therefore. F inverse will be a relation, need not be a function always. Next one more example. Let A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. B equals to 5, 6, 7, 8. And F is a function from A to B given by F of 1 equals to 6. F of 2 equals to 8. F of 3 equals to 5. F of 4 equals to 7. Then F can be written as 1, 6, 2, 8, 3, 5, 4, 7. F inverse will be 6, 1, 8, 2, 5, 3, 7, 4. In this case, F inverse is not only a relation from B to A, but also function. This is because you are given function A is 1 to 1 as well as 1 to 2. Next one, A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, B equals to A, B, C and C equals to W, X, Y, Z. F is a function from A to B, G is a function from B to C, given by F is equal to 1A, 2A, 3B, 4C, G equals to AX, B, Y, C, Z, then find GOF. So we know that G, O, F, or GOF of X is equal to G of F of X. So therefore, G, O, F of 1 is equal to G of F of 1. So F of 1 is A, so it is G of A. G of A from this will be X. So likewise for the remaining uh, elements of A, if you find out, so of will be 1X, 2X, 3Y, 4Z. Next problem, let F is a function from R to R and G is a function from R to R given by F of X equal to X square and G of X equal to X plus 5. Find GOF of X, GOF and FOG. So we know that GOF of X is equal to G of F of X. So F of X is nothing but here X square. So G of X square is equal to in place of X in G of X you replace by X square you will be getting X square plus 5. Next fog of X is equal to F of G of X which is equal to F of G of X is nothing but X plus 5. So in place of G of X write X plus 5. Now it is F of X plus 5. So in place of uh, X in function f you write x plus 5 so you'll be getting x plus 5 whole square therefore gof is not equal to fog and this composition is not commutative to perform composition g o f a to c codomain of f should be equal to the domain of g if the range of f is a subdomain a subset of domain of g these are the notes that you should remember for any F from A to B, F composition A, identity matrix A is equal to F, which is equal to IB composition F, that is identity function on B composition F. So, we will see some theorem. So, first theorem, if F is a function from A to B, G is a function from B to C, show that F and G are 1 to 1, then GOF is 1 to 1. If f and g are on 2, then GOF is on 2. So, suppose a1, a2 belongs to a with uh, GOF of a1 equals to GOF of a2. Then, it implies that 
g of f of a1 is equal to g of f of a2 since we know that cos is nothing but g of f of and uh, since g is 1 to 1 also f of a1 is equal to f of a2 since it is 1 uh, to 1 it means uh, they should have the same images therefore uh, f of a1 equals to f of a2 which implies a1 equals to a2 since f is 1 to 1 therefore cos is 1 to 1 similarly for cos a to c let z belongs to c since g is on to there exists some y which belongs to b with g of y equals to z with f on to and y belongs to b there exists x belongs to a with f of x is equal to y because it is on to there should be some pre image therefore z is equal to g of y which is equal to g of y is nothing but f of x therefore which is equal to cos of x so the range of cos is equal to c which is equal to codomain of cos and therefore cos is on to <coughs> second theorem show that the composition of functions is associative but it is not commutative but still it is associative So f is a function from a to b, g is a function from b to c, and h is a function from c to d. So this is represented in this fashion here. f is a function from a to b, g is a function from b to c, and uh, h is a function from c to d. So then, cos is a function from a to c. Fog is a uh, then uh, fog is a function from b to d. and uh, h composition cos is a function from a to d and h composition g composition f is also a function from a to d this we can prove very easily next is a powers of function if f is a function from a to a then f1 is equal to f that is f raised to 1 is nothing but function to the power 1 is f and for any n belongs to z plus f of n plus 1 is equal to f composition f raised to n if a is example if a equals to 1 2 3 4 f is a function from a to a defined by 1 2 2 2 3 1 4 3 then f square is nothing but f composition f so f of f of 1 is equal to 1 is related to 2 2 is related to 2 so 1 is related to 2 so 1 2 then 2 is related to 2 and uh, again 2 is related to 2 so 2 is related to 2 then 3 is related to 1 and 1 is related to 2 therefore 3 is related to 2 then 4 is related to 3 3 is related to 1 so 4 is related to 1 So likewise, you can find out f raised to three, f raised to four, which is given by f composition f square. So you write here f, and you write here f square, and uh, first apply f uh, f square, and then go to f. And here also f and f raised to three, and you can observe f raised to three is equal to f raised to four. Next is converse of a function. For set Z B, if f is a function from A to B, then converse of f is defined by f raised to C is obtained by interchanging x and y in x y ordered pair which belongs to f. The converse of a function is a relation and need not be a function. This is a very important note you should make. It is function only if the given function is both one to one and on to. Example here, with f is equal to one w two x three y four x. Since this is not uh, one to one function, so it will not the inverse or converse will not be a function. It will be just a relation. One more example. This you can go through it. Corollary: A function e f from a to b is invertible. If and only if it is one to one and on to invertible functions are the functions where the inverse of a function should also be a function, which is possible only when f is one to one and on to. 
So since f is a function from a to b, we have to prove that let it be a invertible function. Then we have a unique function g from b to a with the gauff equals to i a and fog equals to i b. If a1 a2 belongs to a with f of a1 equals to f of a2, then g of f of a1 equals to g of f of a2. Or since uh, f of uh, a1 and A2, they are uh, unique, uh, they should be same. So, gauff of A1 equals to gauff of A2. With gauff of, with gauff is equal to IA, it follows that A1 equals to A2. So, F is 1 to 1. Let B belongs to B, then uh, G of B belongs to A. So, F of G of B exists. Since fog is equal to IB, we have B equals to IB of B and uh, which is equal to fog of B which is equal to F of G of B. So, F is on to. So, conversely, suppose F is a function from A to B is bijective. Since F is on to, for every B belongs to B, there exists A belongs to A with F of A equals to B because this is the property of a on to function. So, define a function G from B to A by G of B equals to A where F of A equals to B which yields the single unique function. So, the only problem which could arise here is if G of B equals to A1 but it is not equal to A2 which is equal to G of A because F of A1 equals to B which is equal to F of A2 but this is not arise because the because f is 1 to 1. Therefore, g is such that gauff is equal to ia and fog is equal to ib. So, we find that f is invertible with g equals to f inverse. So, this is a problem. So, f1 is a function from r to r defined by f1 of x equal to x square is not invertible because you have this function is not 1 to 1. Whereas f2 is function from 0 to plus infinity to 0 to plus infinity means only positive real numbers if you consider then it is invertible with f inverse of to f2 inverse of x is equal to square root of x because here it is only positive numbers. So, the word function uh, whether it is uh, reversible or not is uh, merely dependent on this range domain and range. So, example f and g are the functions from r to r such that f of x equals 2x plus 5 and g of x equals to 1 by 2x minus 5. So, here gauff of x equals to fog of x equals to x. Therefore, f and g are invertible functions. Thank you.